Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, if it's your first time to see me in the YouTube or if it's your first time to watch me, well, welcome to my family. I do makeup tutorials, makeup reviews, product reviews, vlogs, inspired makeup, anything and everything under the sun. So, yes. So in today's video, we are going to try and review the most talk about sponge last year i know it's so 2000 and late but you know we're still trying to catch up here in new zealand so that's why i'm still going to review the juno and co sponge but before we start and go into the details please consider subscribing and just click that bell button so you will be notified every time that i have a new video and you can follow me on my social media account instagram got tinted facebook page got tinted and you can also like search hashtag got tinted <laughs> This sponge is all over the internet since last year and of course I do watch some of the reviews but still you know I want to say it myself how it really works or if it does really work only this year that I found out that you can buy this at Mecca Cosmetica or Mecca Maxima because my friend Liz bought it she said it's just in Mecca and it's just ten dollars New Zealand dollars so normally this comes in a blue colored sponge but what I got in Mecca is um, this rose velvet. I don't know if this is the um, additional color of Juno & Co but I searched it through their website. It's um, it's legit. <laughs> well, of course it's legit. Why is this the most talked about sponge? I guess because of its technology. It is microfiber. It has a velvety texture or velvety finish. I guess that's why it makes a big like difference the feeling of it is very different from your normal sponge the sponge comes with a user guide microfiber sponge user guide wet the sponge completely continue squeezing the sponge into water for a minimum of 15 seconds when the sponge expands and is soft and squishy then it's ready to use you can use the sponge wet or dry to apply makeup products and on this side it will give you the direction on how to use the sponge with your foundation so it says here do not apply the foundation directly onto the Juno sponge as it will transfer too thick it's better to apply your foundation onto another surface then use light dabbing motions to transfer onto your skin okay use stippling and swiping motions to blend the foundation or product onto your skin until the desired look is achieved okay achieve the ultimate in foundation coverage with this makeup brush plus blender fusion sponge so basically what they are saying is that you can get the coverage that you want i mean like you can build the coverage that you want using this sponge with just a minimum amount of product or amount of foundation so we'll just give it a try so i know you guys are all excited to try it then let's go okay so i already wet my sponge but it feels like and it looks like it's not been touched by water <laughs> it's just so weird it's just i feel like i want you know you know what i want to do like i want to spray um a mist on it because it's it's i'm not i'm not really feeling it like, it doesn't really feel wet at all why is it like that it's just weird okay so we have um slanted slanted or tapered um side in here i guess this can be good for um the under eye and then we'll use the bottom part the flat bottom part maybe to apply our foundation and this side maybe like which we'll try every side so anyway for my foundation i'm going to use the dior skin nude air foundation i specifically choose this foundation just for this review because this is the lightest foundation i have um when i say lightest meaning the formula is very very light like it's like water like when i do a drop like that look it's really running and the coverage of this one as well is very light like as if you're not wearing anything at all and when you blend it it will not give you that 
very full coverage it's not like your forever undercover or your skin star or your skin forever the reason why i choose that foundation is because i want to test out if the sponge really doesn't absorb much of the product and if it's really going to build the coverage so without further ado let's go into action and let's start okay i'll show you the condition of my face first of course we have um spots on the cheeks area i don't know what's going on i'm having um redness on my cheeks and of course this side we'll try to cover this one as well and forehead not so okay let's put the foundation first into the back of our hand and okay it's already there okay Wow! Shoot! Oh, shoot! Okay, we'll do one side of the face first so we can compare. Oh, shoot! Okay, one more time. It's just weird, the sound of it. Like, it's weird. Oh, wow! Oh my gosh! It's really true! Oh shoot! Wow, it does really give that airbrushed finish. I can see it now. Oh wow! Okay. Mm. Wow! So amazing! Shucks! <laughs> Ang galing! Oh gosh! Shucks! That is so... Oh my gosh! That is so unbelievable! You know what guys? Let's try to use a different sponge on the other side of my face just so we can test out like if it will give the same effect, if it will give the same finish and coverage as with the velvet sponge okay i'm going to use a different kind of sponge which is like your normal sponge and yeah we'll just do it on this side hold on i'm just gonna wet this again let's put a drop on this side okay i'll zoom you in zoom die okay you see any difference there in the camera it may look the same but to be honest guys looking up close it looks like that this part is not fully covered with the normal sponge um, I can still see some redness and some spots on this side as compared to this side and I use both like just one layer of foundation and yeah i'm really amazed with this sponge normally i use this foundation with makeup brush which i really prefer and it gives me that coverage that i want but i feel like the june and co sponge really is the deal i mean it's there like you can see it like you can see the proof now let's try to apply concealer and i'll do the same normal sponge on this side and velvet sponge on this side mm -hmm. let's try to spray a mist i'll just use my pixie hydrating mist even if i just sprayed the mist it still feel dry weird other side let's do the same I'm gonna spray this with um, mist I 
looks like this is more covered than on this side. This looks just like a little bit more thicker but it's more flawless. Okay, I will just finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Going to my final thoughts and my final verdict about the Juno and Co sponge, velvet sponge. It's just... <sighs> it's so... Um, I'm really impressed of how they do the technology of this sponge. Whoever conceptualized this sponge and do the marketing of it, like you guys did an amazing job of putting out this kind of tool, accessory tool or a makeup tool into the market. And for me, the real deal about this sponge is that it doesn't absorb much of your foundation, of your makeup. And yes, I highly recommend for you to try the Juno & Co Velvet Sponge. I love it. And that's it for today's video guys. And if you enjoyed watching this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And comment down below if you already tried this sponge or what is your thought about this. And of course, don't forget to follow me on my social media account, Instagram Got Tinted, Facebook page Got Tinted. And of course, since you're already here, might as well subscribe to my channel. See you on the next one. Bye!